Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Charles Stuhl and this is the 16th episode of the Modern Tutorials. In this episode we're going to be discussing the different textures for DirectX 11 and then in the next episode we'll look at them in game to see how they behave so you can better see how they work together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my master pack because it is a fully functioning mod on the workshop that you have access to and see how the different textures actually work in game for yourself but I will include a uh, like a prototyping pack which will have a whole bunch of textures like this so I'll have a whole bunch of these basic and basic dark and all these emissives and a couple different metals and stuff like that the terminals I can include as well that way you could just prototype stuff real fast get it out see how you like it and play around with it and then if you want to change it you can that way you don't have to worry about spending too much time on textures only to change them a day later which is more or less what I do I like getting the prototype out and I want to get a whole suite of blocks out so I'm doing the prototypes first that way I can establish a design style for myself and then go through and do all of my other blocks that way so it's like a cohesive sort of style. So <coughs> in DirectX 11, I'm skipping DirectX 9 for now, there are three textures that you need to be concerned about. There's the add, which is a additive, the CM, which is color and mellowness, and the NG, which is normal and gloss. Now, the additive is like four, technically three textures in one. The CM is the RGB layer is one thing, and the transparent layer is another. And then the NG is the RGB is one layer, or one thing, and then the alpha is another. So the add is an additive map. The different layers do different things. So the red layer is what you will call AO or ambient occlusion. So this adds like shadowing and stuff like that. You always want this layer to be white if you are making a simple texture. So make sure that you do that so you don't have to worry about it being a super dark texture. If you want to make a matte or flat color sort of texture, you don't do it with the ambient occlusion. You do it through the CM and the NG. The green layer is emissiveness, so this would be your glowing block. If you had a terminal, you would make it green. You'd make this green, and it'll actually appear in the darkest areas, so you could actually see what it is you're looking at. The alpha layer is the recolorability. So if it's white, you're able to recolor the block completely. If it's black, it's not able to be recolored at all. And this would work together with the CM, specifically the color RGB side of things. So if you're making something recolorable on the CM, you actually want the RGB to be a grayscale of sorts. You don't want it to be a color because you might get some weird discoloration if you are using the recolorable layer. So red AO, green emissive, blue is nothing. So you want to have that be black and then the alpha again recolorability. Alright so the CM, the RGB layer is the color. So if you wanted to do anything in here you could and it'll show up exactly how you want it for the most part depending on your other settings in the metalness layer, the normal gloss, and the additive. Here you can see that I have white background and the blue text. And then you can see that the alpha is white. So that means that it has full metalness. And what that means is you'll actually get a more metallic looking texture than you would a like a flat color. So this being white and blue like this, if the metalness is black, it'll actually show up white 
and blue. But since the metalness is white and full, it's going to show up like a silvery aluminum sort of texture. And then the blue is going to show up very shiny as well when it's paired with the gloss layer on the NG. Now the NG is the RGB is the normal map. So this is what you should typically see if you're doing a normal map. It could be a darker shade of blue. This is the shade of blue that Blender bakes to typically. So if you have a flat texture and you don't have any normal on it, it's going to show up this shade or it should show up about here. And then the alpha layer is glossiness. Now, if it's black, it's going to be a flat color. And if it's white, it's going to be a very glossy color. Think of it like a car. If you have black paint on a car and it doesn't have a gloss or clear coat on it, it is going to appear like a matte or flat black color. Now, if you have full glossiness on your NG, it's going to show up like a perfectly polished black car where it's probably going to be mirror-like. And that's how it is in the game. If you have full glossiness and full metallic, it's going to show up almost like a mirror. Now, keep in mind that the, the reflections in Space Engineers behave very weird. And sometimes they'll like take steps like phase in and phase out when you move. So if you're standing one side on a mirror and you move to the other side real quick, what you were looking at will phase out. And then when you're sitting there on the other side, a different uh, picture will phase on to the uh, glossy. So yeah. You have to be a little careful with that. I usually suggest going no higher than 95% because that'll get you almost to max glossiness, but it's going to be not super glossy to the point where it looks a little awkward. So 95%. And if you go down to probably about 50%, it's probably going to stay looking fairly metallic. But going below that, you'll start getting more into uh, maybe a fancy polished rock or something like that. So try to keep that in mind when you're messing with that. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this episode and does a pretty good job of hopefully explaining the different textures for you. Again, the add is a additive map. Red is, will be white. Green will be black unless it is emissive. Blue will always be black. And then alpha will be white or black, depending on whether it is recolorable or not. CM is RGB is color. Alpha is metalness. And NG is RB RGB is normal map. And alpha is glossiness. And that pretty much explains everything that I could think of and in the next episode I'll go through and show you how the different things will behave when we actually mess with it in game so I'll try to show you the different versions of the AO layer and all that other stuff so you can get a better idea of how it is going to react to what you put in the game with what you have on the texture so if you'd like to help me continue doing what it is I do, please be sure to like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page through the link in the description below. All the donations go towards me helping create more mods and videos, as well as help more people learn to create their own mods, all of which is provided to you guys for free. It, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.